abortion, abortion is, is still, still legal in Nebraska. Legal. Today's decision did absolutely nothing to change that. And we will immediately begin working to change that. The Supreme Court's groundbreaking decision to overturn Roe v. Wade has sweeping ramifications across the country. In 16 states, abortion is either already illegal or soon to be illegal due to what are called trigger laws, which activated once the Supreme Court put Roe v. Wade back in the hands of states. Here in Nebraska, there are no trigger laws. But earlier this year, State Senator Joni Albrecht introduced a bill that would have held Dr criminally liable for performing an abortion. The proposed abortion ban fell two votes short of the 33 needed to pass. But with this Supreme Court ruling, Nate Graz with the Nebraska Family Alliance says it's a matter of when, not if, another abortion bill is brought to the table. We're hoping that Nebraska will pass legislation to protect every single human life. That could be in a special session uh, later this summer or fall, or it could be during next year's legislative session. Graz says he's not sure if a proposed abortion ban would be something like Senator Albrecht's bill, which criminalized doctors for performing abortion, or Senator Julie Slama's proposed heartbeat bill, which would have made abortion illegal once a heartbeat is detected. We're working towards the greatest protections possible, but it will be a matter of what we can get done with our current legislative body. Regardless of what it turns out to be, pro-abortion rights advocates say they will fight that legislation every step of the way. We're going to do the exact same thing that we did during the regular legislative session. Um, we're going to remind Nebraskans that this is not what... Um, they stand for. We're going to build off that momentum of stopping that trigger ban. Regardless of, of what the Supreme Court decision was, we, we can do that and um, we've been building for that.